In the e-block today, Disney Plus's Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars series will start shooting next month. Ewan McGregor will be back as the Jedi Master, with Hayden Christensen returning as Darth Vader. The first two took up, uh, they first took up the roles during the second trilogy of the movies. The series is set 10 years after the events of Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Shites Creek fans rejoice. The Rosebud, see what I did there, Val? Uh, the Rosebud Motel from the Emmy award-winning Canadian television series Shites Creek has hit the market for $1.6 million. The 10-unit motel was one of the key filming locations for the duration of the cult classic series Six Seasons. The motel, called the Hockley Motel in real life, is located 50 miles from Toronto in Mono. Ontario. It sits on 6.7 acres of land on the banks of a picturesque river with access to salmon and rainbow trout fishing. Now, before the show made the motel famous, it was actually used for housing Canadian basketball recruits. Now, one thing fans might notice is that the Rosebud Motel signage is not there. It also should be noted that the interior shots of the motel scenes were actually shot in other areas of Toronto. Godzilla vs. Kong had the biggest foreign opening weekend since the pandemic began, and it's coming to our theaters on HBO Max tomorrow. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier has a first look, and Kevin, it is a big hit. Kirk, that's right. This has already made over $121 million overseas, so the big question becomes, could this monster mashup be the first signs of life for movie theaters here in the States? It's a battle for the ages and this year's first blockbuster release. Godzilla vs. Kong is the fourth movie in the so-called MonsterVerse following 2019's Godzilla King of Monsters. Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown returns and the reason is very specific, to draw in the kids. When I watch Godzilla movies, I, in the past I couldn't relate to it because there wasn't any young people involved. In these new ones you get to have all sides of the spectrum, all in one movie, and it's really exciting. The film had a reported budget of 160 million, and if you have trouble picking a side in the fight, Kyle Chandler can help. If you want to go out in the town, meet some girls, you know, go to the local bar or whatever, obviously you want to go out with King Kong. He's always got a beautiful girl in his left hand or right hand. If you want to go out and just break some stuff, Godzilla. Yeah. Make sure you tune into ET tonight for Sharon Stone's tell all how she says she was tricked into shooting that famous basic instinct scene. Mm, for Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. That is your Tuesday e block. If you're looking for a new career path, you may want to head to the beach because coming up, the one county where 